So here's the first stretch and it's for the forearm and wrists. So Aiden, if you'd like to put your arm out straight in front of you, it's important that we keep the elbow straight um, to not put slack in the muscle. And then if you allow your fingertips to drop down towards the floor, and we've got a bend in the wrist. So you should feel a stretch from your elbow down to the wrist, but to make sure that we're getting a full stretch, you put the pressure on the back of your knuckles there and draw it towards you. And to add a little bit more again, if you actually turn your fingertips outwards towards me, you'll feel it all across the top down to the wrist. And we're gonna hold for 20 to 30 seconds. And if we'd like to repeat it on the other side, please. So for the next stretch, we're going to move into the shoulders. So if you can bring your elbows to shoulder height on both sides, well, that's it, like so, a bit like a scarecrow. <laughs> and then if you'd like to bring your wrists all the way up to the top, that's it. Uh, keeping your shoulders down and relaxed. And short pause, one to two seconds, and then all the way down, as far down as you can go to the floor. One to two second pause, and all the way up. And we're going to repeat this for 10 reps. For the next stretch, we're going to do the other side of the forearm. So if you can put your arm straight out in front of you, palm up this time. And again, making sure that the elbow is straight so that we get full length of the muscle. And then if you um, drop your fingertips downwards towards the floor back, that's it. And as Aiden's already done, just grab the fingertips and you put a little bit of pressure through. And what you'll feel is a stretch through the forearm here from the elbow down to the wrist, just on the other side. And hold for 20 to 30 seconds. And then repeat the stretch on the other side. For the next stretch, we're gonna to move towards the lower back. So if you can start by making sure your feet are flat on the ground um, and you're sat slightly forwards. Uh, and then we're gonna reach with one arm straight up in the air. And if you then tip to the side away from that arm, so that's it all yeah. the way across. And then if you twist and lean diagonally forwards as if you're reaching towards a symbol. Perfect. So you should feel the stretch uh, from the ribs down to the pelvis um, and in the lower back and hold for 20 to 30 seconds. And then we repeat it on the other side. So again, you feel the stretch from the ribs down the lower back to the pelvis and make sure you relax into it. Don't hold an arch back whilst you're holding. And again, hold for 30 seconds. And now to stretch the calf. If you stand up just to the side of your stool, if you put the ball of your foot on one of the feet of the stool, and then let your heel drop down to the ground, and then as you start to straighten that leg, you can put your weight through it 
and you'll feel the stretch from the back of the knee all the way down to the heel and hold for 30 seconds. And then we're going to repeat it on the other side. 